Hello, good day to you with welcome and, and of course it's me again. I, I'm back from uh, my trip abroad back into the swing of things. It is of course the Friday the 21st of April. Two more days to go and then we'll have this uh, alert thing going off Sunday the 23rd of April at around 3 p.m. which is uh, an improvement over knowing what time it's going to be going off because then you can turn your phone off altogether. Uh, up until I went away there was no real time so it was just all day so you have to wait for it. However it, the uh, purpose of this video is uh, to talk about something that you may have missed it was in uh, the news 13th of October last year so that's um, all part of the planning process there's a, a, a story here which uh, says that uh, GGS a company which uh, signed a five million pound support deal for the new emergency alert service so obviously they're spending money on a service that really I can't see why they would want to have it. I'm 62 now and we've never ever in my lifetime had anything ever resemble something that needs to be told to the, to the whole of the UK other than what you could do on the television for example in the news. So for example there was uh, the London bombings, for example. That was um, on the news. Did people need to know about it in, I don't know, in Bristol? Probably not, because it was London-based. So it's a, a multi-million pounds deal that the supplier has signed. Uh, this soon to launch, well, Sunday, Simply launch government service to send SMS text alerts of imminent danger. And this could include storms, floods, severe heat. Well, I look forward to that. We've just come back from Bangkok and uh, Thailand and it was 54 degrees. So, did we have to have a, an alert? No, we didn't. So, and I can't see the point of that. But let's have a look. This is a story, so GDS signed the £5 million billion pound deal, uh, this was October 13th last year. And it is supported by the UK's mobile networks, O2, Vodafone, EE and 3. And it will use local mobile phone masks to send messages. Now remember, local phone masks could be 5G. I'm not going to say either way, and I'm going to leave it there as far as that subject is concerned. Because I know that there will be people who, who will get on their high horse regarding 5G. Is it a weapon or is it not? We don't know for sure, but we can certainly make guesses. Is it going to be used as a weapon? Who knows? So this is the uh, one-year contract with Fujitsu. They're going to be responsible for the technical delivery. Hmm. It's at least uh, worth at least one million, and it runs for, to its full-year term. It will be total of five million. So obviously they are planning on running it for three years. Hopefully they'll get some benefit from that and have some sort of emergency pop up. But hey, you know, whatever. So there we go, that's the story. I don't know if you saw it. Um, but clearly, you know, Fujitsu is one of the big players in the world of tech and uh, the NWO plan. The other thing that I want to mention regarding this uh, scam alert thing besides turning off your phone and setting up your settings uh, to be off which I mentioned in my other video 
it's going to cost 22 million mm. so immediately i heard that and obviously bear in mind that they've already spent five probably five million of that on uh fujitsu uh what is costing that much money you know somebody types in a text message alert beware britain needs more alerts <laughs> i've heard that joke for ages uh but yeah and then they press button send boom done why is that going to cost 22 million i suspect another one of them money laundering scams uh incidentally have we where is um where's U ukraine gone because i've not heard nothing about that for ages um and obviously being abroad in thailand it's been lovely because i've not heard any of the bullshit and it's been quite shocking when i got back to london to look at my phone and my tablet and my internet and think oh shit here we are we're back in the uh, back in the real world uh so there we go so don't forget sunday only two days away turn off your phone or uh, at least put the settings to off and um, give the proverbial two fingers to the government i did notice that rishi was crying in his soup um, pleading people oh please don't turn off your phone oh you've got to ask yourself why why are they pleading it's like when they were pleading for you to have this medical experiment oh yes please oh no you've got to have it it's very good for you it's safe and effective oh yes you've got to have it why <laughs> that's my immediate question why if you want me to have it or have this phone turned on why what's it going to do certainly not beneficial to me and certainly from experience it's not going to be beneficial to me now, i have sent this email to the um chappy the uh what's his name uh, can't remember his name now but i sent him an email um when i found out about this and i said no you 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 stopped me from using my phone for any more than one second and i'll be charging you 120 pounds a minute for lack of use because my phone is used for business uh, so i do not want to have to click buttons i do not want to be restricted so if you're going to stop me from using my phone you're going to get a bill so i'm looking forward to that sending them the bill you never know they might be that stupid and certainly they don't listen and they don't care because the SSE story has um, has got a development. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Anyway, have a good day. I'll catch you in a moment with another video.